why did you guys want to like like prove that case and so i felt like after doing my blm doc and kind of exposing the truth about the, the george floyd story people kind of pigeonholed me into thinking like oh she only cares about this issue because it's black versus white in reality i just care about the truth no matter what <laughs> it doesn't matter what color the criminal is i'm very interested in the media's ability to warp people's minds and this was an earlier example of that so we kind of went back in showed people what netflix did uh it really got into the case details, talked about how he got there, what they left out, you know, who the Averys were. They made them seem like this close-knit, you know, uh, family that just loved each other and were trying to get over this trauma of having him put in prison wrongly. My documentary is going to show you, what you listen to is prison calls, you know, N-word this. And I mean, these were some, these were some really bad people, uh, the way they speak about women, the way they speak about black people. I mean, so it, it it's a number and it's just, again, one of those times to examine how easily we all, all of us can be manipulated by the media. I have fallen victim to the media narratives before and I'm not perfect. Maybe I'll fall for one in the future, but the Stephen Avery story and Convicting a Murderer is a 10-part docu-series that we did. And um, I don't know why I'm always pregnant when I do documentaries The Daily Wire. It's <laughs> weird, but I'm pregnant again, this one. So That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Just leaving out some facts and stuff can really just twist the narrative and stuff. Right. Else, right? 